Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel or you're just stopping by, thanks so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. So Valentine's Day is coming up and I wanted to do a, I guess a classic Hollywood or old Hollywood look. And this is what I came up with. Nice wispy lashes, a classic red lip, very defined eyebrow bone structure. I like to call that contouring of the eyes. If you want to see how I achieved this classic old Hollywood makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay, to start off this look, I'm going to start by prepping my face and moisturizing it with the Clinique Dramatically Different Lotion. Lately, my pores have been super visible when doing my makeup, so I'm going to be using the NYX Pore Filler Primer in all the areas on my face where my pores are visible. Then I'm going to go in with the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer. I want this look to be a dewy one and this YSL primer really hydrates and makes my face look absolutely flawless. Next I'm going to use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Primer because this look is essentially a cut crease so I do not want the eyeshadow to move once I have it placed. For this look I'm going to be using the Urban Decay collab palette that they did with Gwen Stefani. She picks so many classic colors so this palette was the perfect one to use. I'm going to start by using a fluffy flat brush and pick up the color Stark and work it into my crease and drag it slightly upwards towards the beginning of my eyebrows to give my eyes a very deep set look. Now with a blended brush, I'm going to pick up the color zone and blend that into my crease. I'm focusing zone more on the outer crease and flicking it outwards to give it a more natural blended eye. Now I'm going to go back in with a smaller brush and pick up the color zone and deepen up my crease. Next I'm going in with the color skimp with a small brush to highlight right underneath my brows. I didn't blend it in as well as I should have so don't make my, make my mistake. Make sure you Blend it in after applying it under your brows. Now I am picking up a flat brush and packing on this beautiful color, Baby, all over my eyelids. Make sure not to get it into the crease as this is going to be a cut crease look. Drag the brush slowly where your eyelids and crease meet to make a sharp line. On the actual eyelids, I'm using padding motions when applying the color Baby to make sure I get a nice amount on the lids to create definition. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller flat brush with the color Baby and just clean up where the lids and the crease meet to get a nice sharp line. I'm focusing it the most on the inner crease as that is going to keep the defined look of the eye contour. Once that is done, I'm going to go in and do my winged eyeliner, clean up my brows, and put on some lashes. I will link the lashes I use by, I think it's the company's called Purr, down below for you guys. So I've completed my eyes, and now I'm going to go in and use my all-time favorite primer and water by Smashbox just to set my eyes, give my skin some extra hydration and primer before I apply my foundation. Now I'm going to apply my absolute favorite foundation by NARS. It is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation, and I'm using it in the color Tahoe. I'm going to be mixing in the cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the color Moonlight as well. This is going to give my face an extra luminous look. Make sure to shake both the enhancer drops and foundation well before mixing and applying to your face. I'm using a foundation brush to mix the two on the back of my hand and apply it to my face. Now I'm going to use my damp beauty blender and blend out my face 
the, my foundation so that it does not look streaky or patchy. I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm using the shade Biscuit just to make underneath my eyes brighter and also to clean up my eyeliner and eyeshadow on the outer corners of my eye. I'm using my Laura Mercy Setting Powder to set my concealer, my forehead, and also my smile lines. While those areas of my face are baking, I'm going to go back in with the palette and pick up the colors Zone and Stark again and smoke out my lower lash line with those two colors. I am now going to pick up the color Serious with an angled eyeliner brush and apply it slowly to my lash line and waterline. Then I am going to blend it out under my lower lash line where I applied the colors Zone and Stark. Now I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the shade Medium to contour my face. Let me know if you guys want a more detailed video on how I contour my face down below in the comments section. I am done baking my face, so I'm going to brush away the extra setting powder, and then I'm going to go back in with my concealer and apply it right under my nose contour, and then I'm going to blend the two together to make my nose contour look more natural. I'm also going to apply it onto my cupid's bow to make my highlight there stand out more later on. Now to set my cream contour, I'm going to use the ABH Powder Contour Kit in the shade Medium. I'm going to go all over all the places I contoured my face with it and blend it out for a nice sharp contour. To make my contour even sharper, I'm going to set it with my Laura Mercier setting powder. Now onto my favorite part, highlighting. I'm using my ABH Glow Kit and I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, my temples, my forehead, and then I'm going to highlight my nose and Cupid's bow. I'm going to use my ABH Lip Primer since I'm going to be using a matte lipstick. This helps to keep your lips moisturized and from cracking and it also helps for your lips to last longer. I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner from her Lip Kit Mary from her first holiday collection to line my lips. For liquid lipstick, I'm going to be using this bright classic red liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Spicy. To complete this look, I am going to be using the Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Blush in the color something about berry. And last but not least, I'm going to be setting my face with the First Aid Beauty's Green Mist. I love this, it gives me a nice hydrating feel to my face. So this is the final result of my old Hollywood Glam makeup look. I am absolutely in love with this look. I think I'm going to wear this, oh, well, I would wear this for Valentine's Day if I was going out, but I have no idea if I'm going out. I know I'm working, it is the last day of fashion week, so I don't even think I'm going to even have the 
energy to put on even some chapstick at that point in time because I would just be working basically 15 days straight. Crazy, I know, but that is the life in fashion. I really, really hoped you guys enjoyed this video and that you do recreate this look. If you do, please, please, please take a picture and tag me in it, whether it's on Twitter or Instagram. I would love, love, love to see how you guys recreated my look. If you guys are interested in how I achieved the hair, um, stay tuned. I will be putting that video up um, not too far behind this one. So stay tuned and I will link that down below once it is posted. Again, I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, thank you so much and I'll see you all soon. Bye.